Hi there, my name is Donna Nowak, and I got into this about 13 years ago. Well, I just can't cook, so I had to find something to do with myself, but no, I was a computer pro grammar and as you mature in age you find out who you are and I'm a very sociable person sit behind a desk not so anyways um, I started to paint murals I wanted to learn how to paint murals so I would I would ask my friends hey can I paint your house sure all for free no problem so I'm painting murals and such and then one day I went to the rainforest uh, cafe down here the very first one and I saw how it was airbrushed I'm like oh that was so cool. But I'm like, I'm too old to go to school to learn how to do black and white spheres and domes. So I looked up bikers. Bikers. So I became a, um, a biker chick. I even got a bike too. A motorcycle. And my biker name was Wild Thanks. So I used to ride around on a bike. I did have a bike in purple leather. <laughs> but anyway, so I learned a lot of tips and tricks from them. But then again, I didn't want to sit in a garage and paint cars. And uh, so back then, airbrush tattoos were so brand new that you never really heard too much about them. In fact, the um, Australians, ABA as they referred to, was on stencil, I think, 210. I mean, they had nothing. Now they're like, have bazillions. That's how new it was. So anyway, so I started airbrushing the airbrush tattoos, and hence, you know, I had to come up, come up with a name, like we all do. And what fits me? Well, what do you do when you get your art? You tend to show it off. Hence the name, show offs, body art. And then I found out about the face and body paint convention, so I flew down here. It was year two, and I was like, wow, this is pretty cool, but everybody's doing things by hand, but not so much with the airbrush. So I kind of like wedged my way and said, hey, have you ever thought about trying to adding this in? And then ever since then, they asked me to come on back. So it's been a joy, and I've been back all the time. And in fact, um, Marcella has even naming this tool time. Because one time during the show and tell days, where you had to bring your ideas, that's where I brought in this webbing to help you hold down a stencil. And I won! Wow! Pretty, quite, quite uncool. But as years go on, when you build it, they will come and they will come in droves to where you wish you had a day off. But So you need production and speed to help you keep up with the demand. So I'm all about making nice stuff to help you be the best at what you can be. So you're, feel free to give me a call if you're ever stuck on some problem. I would love to talk to you because I want to make you succeed. I've been to Shanghai twice, China. Let's talk about 19 million folks in one little town. Oh, yeah. So about speed, one of my fastest jobs that we had to produce um, for the Detroit Tigers. We had 3,000 kids to spray in about two and a half, three hours. And I did have a team there, so we did production work. So I would have the kids line up three at a time, take my brush, and I will go white, 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 yellow, 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 because it takes time to take that brush, put it down, pick it up, come here. That's time, okay? So again, it's production. White, 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 yellow, 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 orange, 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 stencil, 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 next! And you're done. And that's how we did mass production. And that was the best way to go. I'm always asked, do I airbrush more or do I hand paint? Well, it's nice to have both skill set because I enjoy the art of just to paint it because you can create and be your own. But then I have accounts where they demand you to have speed because they're going to have a bazillion folks and you don't have the time to create and be slow. You need to have that speed. So it's nice to have both skill set because you don't want to lose that account. So right now I do mostly airbrushing because a lot of my accounts want the speed. Now I would hand paint for the little small ones, but when I want to make the money, speed's where it counts. So money buys you time, time will buy you money. Stencil eyes has changed a lot. I designed these because I have my own employees. I need to mass produce myself. I cannot spend the time to teach someone how to hand paint and have them paint like me within one week's time and I need them on a job because I'm getting all these calls. So uh, stencils is a great way to reproduce yourself without years of training. 
Okay? Some folks will say, oh, but that's how you cheat. It's like, no, that's like telling a, a draft spin you're not allowed to use a ruler. It's just a tool in the art, you know? Um, so I designed these because I had this one gal that I trade for years, but she's so slow because she enjoys the art. I'm doing five to her one. So I made these for them. Also for the young kids, I have a daughter who started using these at at, um, fifth, at 15 years old, she could out face paint a lot of folks because this made it, she's not as afraid. She's not afraid to fail. A lot of folks don't want to try it because they compare it to the pros, the masters, and then they sit back and I can't do that. Well here they do feel like a pro and they do get a very nice end result. And you still can create new designs by using them. So it's just a tool, so for me, it has changed a lot. It's allowing me to help folks like you earn more money, you earn more jobs, makes you feel less stress. Not only that, I could stand on my feet, work 10 hours nonstop, painting faces, and I'm not drained, um, emotionally drained by face painting. You sit there and you have to create, 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 in 10 hours, I'm just stencils and crates, and everybody loves it, and I feel fine, so it's stress-free. What is my advice to give to someone who does hand paint, and they're seeing us who airbrush, and they see their lines are always long, and our lines are flowing through, which means their clients are gonna walk away from their line, so they're losing money, as opposed to the person who is doing the airbrushing is earning money. So yes, it's going to invest to get into this stuff. I would suggest to take some classes. One of the hardest things is to learn in, in my book is how to hold on to this. Once you learn how to hold the brush, you start to feeling relaxed. But don't treat an airbrush like a paint can sprayer. That's a huge mistake. Do not point to spray and just keep going like this. Heck, you just might as well take a spray can for a house and just use that. An airbrush is just a tool that it has a finesse to it. And practice. Look things up online. There are books. There's a lot of you on tubes. Go to workshop classes. Stay at home. Take a white sheet and just point and spray. Just feel good with it in your hand. Heck, they gave us um, a license to drive a car at 16 years old and we're okay with that. So they should not be afraid of this little tool because it's paint. You could wipe it off and start again. Yes, you can airbrush and hand paint at the same time, okay? You can combine them both. Sometimes using a sponge, to me, you're just pounding the flesh with the, butt, with the brush or with the sponge. Well, you can have your airbrushes and just create your backgrounds. And if for those who love to, the hand painting, then you can take your brush and create your art. So they both work well.